That means, like as, I, as far as I have seen in your program in Bucharest, to um, not to lose the uh, historical premises of law, uh, be it Roman law or, um, uh, or other um, uh, law uh, traditions, we have to relearn our legal traditions to a certain extent. We cannot overestimate because we have two many subjects in the curriculum. But it will be necessary and also what is important to um, not to um, distance the philosophy of law and other subjects. So um, this appears to me more important than just to um, get up uh, and um, fulfill the um, postulations of the Bologna process, which is just a formal process and in some countries is even not um, estimated to the same extent like in Great Britain. So we are rather cautious, we will wait how it will function, that may change. The law faculties, as I said in Germany, are still uh, prudent, cautious, that may change with the magistracy and the, um, the association of lawyers. My remarks, or my concluding remarks, would be the following. First, legal, learn, pardon, legal learning in Europe should focus today more on substantial issues than technical harmonization incentives, even though their formal utility for a better knowledge for students should not be underestimated. Secondly, there will be no uniform method of legal teaching and training in Europe. The plurality and diversity of legal cultures is as well part and parcel of the national identity. As the substantial political and constitutional struct structures now enshrined in Article 4, Paragraph 2 of the Lisbon Treaty, which is very important. It has been quoted by the Constitutional Court just a couple of months ago. Uh, in a somehow falsified sense in my view, but nevertheless, it's a very important um, uh, norm. Thirdly, however, this does not signify that bilateral or multilateral formation of specific doctorate or master degrees should not be intended. This will enable us to elaborate and promote the common principles the common projects of comparing and evaluating legal principles and institutions in Europe. This is, and for example, the common framework of um, reference, CFR, which is also uh, elaborated in Osnabrück partly with other many scholars in Europe, um, strives for general civil principles, not for a codified, a uniform code of civil uh, law. They are just striving for principles, which may be later on codified. Um, fourth, the approximation of legal principles and institutions is by far the most amb ambitious goal we can offer to our brightest students in the different countries. It, it suggests a profound learning in the respective legal cultures based on historical and uh, philosophical aspects of our common European traditions in civil, criminal, and public law. Fifth, the attempt might be worthwhile to focus specifically on European master degrees, which in two years will lead to a higher knowledge of the common European traditions and principles in the respective areas of legal learning, which is all, all, all already practiced in here in Romania, evidently, in some other countries as well. Six, we, if we take now for granted the coming into force of the Lisbon Treaty for the next decade or more, the reference to the Union's aims and the European Charter of Rights and Freedoms will be valuable points of reference. The European jurist, on the one hand, will still be rooted in his national legal cultures but on the other hand, increasingly be embedded in European legal contexts. And this is not only for reasons of economic globalization, 
Plurality and unity will be the pertinent task of future legal generations. Thank you for your attention. Vă mulțumim foarte mult, domnule profesor.